lesson 106. A lot of this is going to be a review and we're also going to continue to wor be working on counting by fives today and starting to write by fives today. No, uh, no worksheets with this lesson, guys, so just need to listen up here and pay attention to Miss Ellie, okay? But we aren't going to have a worksheet with this lesson. All right, so let's first of all review some after numbers, okay? I'm going to put a number on the board and you say in your mind or tell mom what number comes after this number, all right? Let's start here. Let's start easy. This number. What number comes after six? Seven. Right, right, easy. Let's do a harder one. What if we did 87? What number comes after 87? 88. Let's do one more. We're gonna do the fun one that y'all love to do. 99. What number comes after 99? Ah, right, 100. Very good, very good. After numbers, keep working on those. Y'all, especially the teens family, I know the teens family is kind of hard for some of you. Okay, we are going to work a little bit on reviewing our addition problems. Miss Ellie's just got three of them here. These are our dot cards. And, you know, maybe mom and dad haven't seen our dot cards before. So let's show them how this works. We count our red dots, and we've got one, two, three, four red dots, so we put four. And our line means we put plus, how many blue dots? One. Four plus one equals five. Right, four plus one equals five. We use our dots. Very good. Let's change the card to a new card and do, Miss Frog, you can hold that. Let's do this one. Now let's change it around. Let's, let's put the blue dots first, okay? Two plus, how many red dots? Three. Two plus three equals one, two, three, four, five. Most of us know that in our head by now. We shouldn't even have to count the dots anymore. We should know that in our head. Two plus three, equals five. And it doesn't matter if we turn the card around, does it? Because three plus two still equals five. Three plus two equals five. Good job. One more. One more so that mom can see how this works. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Frog, there's another one for you. All right, let's do the red dots first this time. We have four red dots plus two blue dots equals four plus two equals six. And it doesn't matter if we turn it around, does it? We could still do two plus four equals six. So continue working on your addition facts. Addition facts, mom, one through six is what we want to be working on. And let's get to the point where we don't have to use our fingers anymore, we don't have to write the dots, and we don't have to count markers, okay? Let's be able to start doing it right here in our head. It's not really that hard. All right, we are going to continue learning about counting and writing by fives. I'm going to start a pattern, and I want you to think about what's going to come next in the pattern. We have the number five, then we have zero, Five, zero. What would come next in our pattern? Five, zero, five, zero. Five comes next, doesn't it? We keep going. That's a pattern. Five, zero, five, zero, five, and then it would be zero. When we write and count by fives, um, we always start with five. The next number we count is going to have a zero. The next number is going to have a 5 at the end, then a 0, and then back to 5. Watch how this works. I'm going to change the pattern now. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to add to the pattern. All right, we're going to start with 5, but we're not going to put anything in front of the 5. In front of the 0, we're going to put a 1. 
in front of the next five, we're going to put a one. So it's one, one. Then, in front of the next zero, we're going to put a two. Two. In front of the next five, we're going to put a two. So we've got one, one, two, two. Then it would be three, three, four, four. Okay? So if we continue our pattern down here with zero, five, zero, five. Let's see where we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Look at that. We are writing by fives. We are writing by fives. Now, let's count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. You have just learned to write by fives and we reviewed counting by fives. Just make sure every number is in your pattern. Start with the five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. Let's count to 50 by fives. Starting with five, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Great job. Of course, the next number would be 55. Right? Moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, Miss Ellie will tell you a good way to get our kids to um, just learn to count by fives and tens is when you're going to do something. Maybe you're going, you can say, I want you to um, come to the door and let's get ready to go outside. And before you go outside, say, count to 35 by fives and then we'll open the door. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, open the door. Okay? Make it fun for them. They will learn so much more quickly if we make it fun. So that's what we do at school. When we line up to go places, we count by tens, we count by fives. So work on that. Work on writing by fives. Okay? All right. Last thing we're going to do is learn a new number word. The number word we're going to learn is the number for, word for this number. Y'all better know that that number is seven, seven. And so we spell seven, S-E-V-E-N. That is our number word, seven. The number word is seven, S-E-V-E-N, okay? All right, good lesson today, guys. And like I said, this lesson does not have any worksheets, so just have mom or dad practice all those with you. Counting by fives, your number words, your addition facts, okay? Things that you can go over every day. It's going to help us remember things um, better, all right? Okay.